Hello, my lovely people of the universe. It's me, Simple Sims, also known as Lexi, and welcome to this world overview. So, I have the good old Miller family here, standing in front of their beautiful home in a gated community. Yes, that's right, a gated community. But first and foremost, let me explain where I am and what I'm overviewing today. So this world is the beautiful world of Alpine County. And you can download it from The Sims 3 catalog. I will have it linked below. I've been finding a lot of new worlds there. And I really, really thought that, you know, if I, of all people, just found something, there's probably others in the world that, you know, haven't found it yet either so that's what I'm here for today so as you can see this world is amazing because it has so many different areas and facets that could suit so many different people and players so like here's the little like country farm life um, if you just want space and no neighbors hello sounds amazing you could live there and then, of course, where we are right now, this is the little gated community. We'll take a little closer look at that later. Here's just a regular neighborhood, I guess. And then, no one cares about into the future right now. Thank you. Okay, this is like the little, what would it be called? Like country club area? Yep, look at that. Country club. So this is the little country club area. So, so cute and green and luscious. And then here's just the regular big old city part, right? So you even have like little malls over here. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys everything. Um, and then even over here, it's like a little like resort town. It's like all these little huts and stuff over here. Oh, it's amazing. Here's another little development. It's not like gated or anything, but you know, it's it's there. This is the, you know, little starter home section. And then look, it's like little cabins and like a wooded area over here. And even the cemetery and like little spooky houses over here. So literally like it has everything okay so let's actually take a look first and foremost at the entrance to this neighborhood uh, yeah cars will drive through here <laughs> they will not actually use these gates which i mean kind of sad but then if you think about it in the sims having to stop and use these probably would not really work that well so I mean, you kind of just deal with it. It's just a really, really cute look, right? To have this here and make you feel like you're in a gated community. Oh my God, all those things are gonna get on my freaking nerves. Okay, we don't care where all the mixologists are going. So let's take a look here. So all the houses in this development have the same general aesthetic and look to the outside of them. Um, but they are all different and laid out different on the inside and just look how freaking beautiful they are like hello somebody literally gorgeous literally gorgeous so let's actually show you inside of their house just so that you can kind of get a gist of what it looks like they're very 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 formal in here so, you know, they have this giant fountain. They have this amazing kitchen, uh, living area, dining room back there, uh, little TV areas. Now, some of these houses do have more bedrooms than this one does. I think this one is just, uh, looks like three bedrooms. So some of them are bigger than this. This is probably one of the smaller ones, honestly, which is kind of crazy to even say that but they do get bigger than this and just look how amazing the backyard is like look can you just say party 
because that's all I think of when I see that. Oh my God, it's just, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And then literally next door to them, they actually have a quote unquote private school right here for this development. So I'm pretty sure you could get this to work as a private school um, along with the other public school that is also in this world. I think you can get it to work like that with a mod. I've never tried messing around with it, so <laughs> I don't know for sure. But I think it is really cool that there is this little private school there. And also, yeah, this is back here too. So they have their little country club right here. Let's take a look at this. And there goes my dog. Bye, doggy. Look how pretty. Oh my God, I can't. Is it open? It's, of course, it's, it, it is open. Okay, well, we're going to this country club. So while we wait for Karen to come here to the country club, uh, they got this nice house in this broke down old car. Why does she want a crib? Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Hold on, Karen. Karen. No, she's not. Does she want a crib? Oh, because they have a baby. Well, you would think if you have a baby, you would already have a crib. Okay, anyway, so um, here's the country club. It doesn't really look like, well, there's a pool table in here. Is there a basement? No. Uh, what's up? Do they have a hot tub up here? A bar? A gym okay so you know it's like a standard country club but this world does come populated or unpopulated so if you choose to get it populated then it will come with 23 families already put in these homes a lot of them are just from you know expansion pack worlds so you have a lot of people from like Bridgeport and uh, like Starlight Shores. Let's actually visit these little shops right here just because I want to show you guys what they look like. Well, I guess we don't really need her to come, but she coming, she coming. Okay, so first off, look how cute this is. Oh, it looks like a little uh, like steak and shake gas station type vibes they got the cars in here and look at it it's just so freaking cute so cute you have bars here oh, so you can come get wasty pants you have a little there's a dj booth out here oh it's just it's amazing it's amazing and look what is this Oh, so you can come in and like buy food and then you could probably come over here and like sit down and eat it. Oh, just a cute, cute little date area. And then over here, it's like two giant malls, right? It's literally amazing. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, a lot of the families are from other worlds. So you're going to see like the best and the Gooder family from Starlight Shores, a lot of families from Bridgeport. But then they also have included some families from uh, like university. So you'll get a lot of university students as well, which I feel like that's fine. As soon as you give everyone a makeover, you know, it works splendidly. So yeah, hello, load, load. Okay, so yeah, this is like the little mall area. So you have just a bunch of like random stuff in here. So um, looks like you can come do laundry here. Got some computers, some random books, but like look at this tattoo area, a little like store, another little store with a stylist thing so you can actually come make yourself over um a little pet place pet shop and then look you can bowl here 
there's a little arcade here um this world just really has a lot of lots where you can genuinely just spend a day there you know like it really has everything that you could ever need like look at this this place has like a little kid area so you can come bring your kid and kind of drop them off here while you work out and then let's see a bunch of hot tubs more working out so this one's like the gym but they literally even thought about the fact that if you have kids like you don't have to hire a babysitter just bring them here and they can literally play um, even learn skills because there's the little stove back there so they can do that oh it's just it's amazing so now it is 7 p.m. so we should be able to go to like clubs and stuff so let's find one first I have to say how freaking funny is it that they have a subway and they have a Taco Bell <laughs> how cute is that they I mean they're not by no means are they like the most interesting inside or anything but I just think it's funny that it exists so yes yeah, so let's take a peek inside here really quick yeah so it's just like a regular food place you can just come here and buy food and then just sit down and eat it uh, it's nothing crazy it would be a good spot for like your teenagers and stuff to like take a date or something like that since you know they shouldn't be at bars or anything yet hello somebody so let's actually go <laughs> let's just take a peekies at uh, let's just go to I don't know I don't know I don't know there's just so many options that's the thing there's just so many options that it's like oh my gosh let's go to Aquarius that one comes with Bridgeport does Underworld come with Bridgeport? Now I'm nervous that it does, so I don't want to go there anymore. Um, I don't know. I would prefer to just, let's just, let's just check out this little tavern. Cause that way she doesn't actually have to go, you know? Oh, it's very tiny in here. It's tiny, but like you get the point. There's bars and stuff. You have a bunch of options for bars like oh my god so many so let's take a look at what their little festival grounds looks like here it is very very almost like Spanishy themed it is very California looking to me at least um, let's see look at this you got a little bar all these little fancy tables buffet tables uh i guess someone's selling boats you can get spray tans what type of oh there's the barista um yep you can roller skate food stands i mean it's it's nice arcade bathroom they even have a subway in here oh i am deceased I am deceased oh my gosh so cute so yeah here's the other school that is in the neighborhood that's the public school and then of course you know over there was the private school but now I just kind of want to take the time to just kind of show you the architecture and like the houses and stuff so let's kind of take a look at this neighborhood um, you've already seen kind of the super super rich neighborhood this is more like i don't know like suburban well-to-do family homes kind of um once again they all look similar they're all white with the black roof but they're different sizes and obviously they all look different on the inside so it's very very like traditional homes right here in this little area i think all of these are uh someone's living in them i think 
Yep. Someone is pretty much living in all these homes. So if you wanted to live here, you'd either have to give someone the boot or um, wait till they die or something. I don't even know. Let's look at this little bar on the water while we're over here. Look how pretty. Oh my God, look, look. Oh, we love it. We love it. Okay, Um. oh my God, that reminds me. There's this one house. Ooh, I have to show you guys. So yeah, so it looks like someone tried to make a little like blackjack table thing. There's already bars in here, which is the amazing thing about custom worlds. I mean, come on. I'm trying to hurry before it starts getting too dark for you guys to really see and appreciate. So these are like gonna be the more cabin-y homes now that we're kind of getting into like the woods area. So there's that kind of cabin-y house. There's this one which someone lives in. Yep, oh, there they are. Look at that. Very, very country. Where is the country house that I want? Is it right here? I think this is it. Look at how beautiful the back of this house is. Oh my gosh. Like, I would want this in real life. And then let's see what the view would be like. Since they literally just have this whole lake to themselves, basically. <laughs> Show off. She's about to die, but you're not my sim, so <laughs> YOLO. Good luck. <laughs> good luck to ya. Here's a little more modern woodsy kind of house. This one's empty, so someone could move in here. Beautiful, beautiful. And now that it is getting a little darker, I think it is the perfect time to kind of look at the more spooky, spooky architecture here. So we have the graveyard, of course. Oh my gosh, it's so overgrown. And it has a little church here already on the lot. Let's actually see if we can go in there. Okay. We can't. We can't, but that's fine because who, who would even want to, you know, this scary looking lot, who the heck would want to, what's, what was that? What was that? I don't know. Gone forever. So these homes are empty. Um, <laughs> it would require a mighty brave Sim to want to, uh, live here. I tell ya. All right, she peed herself. Oh, that is so expected, you know? Very expected. I love how the streets over here are just so lit up. So of course, here's the little like resort area. You know? If it would load, it shows you how pretty it is. Yep, so that's the little resort area. It has these little huts that your sims can actually like live in and like move into, which is kind of crazy, honestly. Little bit, a little bit nuts. But yeah, so of course, I don't wanna show you everything, every little lot, every little facet. Oh, I do wanna show you this though. Since it's the country club, all of these houses are, I'm pretty sure, the exact same because you know, certain country club neighborhoods, literally, they will just copy and paste the one house, like, everywhere. So, you do have multiples of this type of house. However, it is very cute. So, like, hooray. You know, more places for your sims to live that are really nice. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just going to uh, jump back to their house kind of see it at night here and yeah so oh this world is just so amazing it just 
fits everyone's needs. It has so many different areas to explore. And of course, like I said, I don't wanna explore everything for you. I would want you guys to be able to download it and then still find things that surprise you or that excite you or make you happy. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you for sticking with me during this little world overview. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more world reviews. I have a lot of worlds that I've gotten recently and I would be happy to review them and just kind of put you guys on. As always, the link to download this world will be in the description box below and I will see you guys in the next one. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you like me and you haven't already. <laughs> and of course, I am obsessed with all of you who have subscribed and shown love already. And bye.